Hey y'all, Justin McKay, Catfish. Today I'm out here on the Tennessee River. I'm gonna be doing some catfishing on a secondary point. The way the river runs here, there's a, a river bend out in the main channel and I'm just inside a creek channel that feeds into it on a point here. And I'm anchored down in 41 feet of water and today I'm gonna to be suspend fishing. I'll have my baits down directly under the kayak and I'll have my baits just two, three, four feet off the bottom there. For bait today, it's gonna to be just a, a smorgasbord. I've got a variety. When I launched my kayak in the back of this creek, I threw the cast net a few times. Didn't really have much luck. I got one good size gizzard shad here. So I'll get a couple baits out of him. So I'm gonna start out with that gizzard shad on two rods. And then coming up through here, I just kind of beat the banks with my ultralight rod and some jigs, just throwing it down trees, docks, etc. And I got some bluegill, I got some channel cats, I got a largemouth bass. So we're just gonna have a variety of bait today to see what these catfish want. But it's about two o'clock right now, probably gonna fish till 6.30, seven-ish today. It's gonna be a short trip, but uh, I'm gonna soak these baits a little while and see if we can hook a big one. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, there's the first bait. That's a gizzard shad body section. We'll drop it down. I'm gonna put the gizzard shad head on this other back rod over here. And then we'll have that bluegill on the front rod. That one. I was hoping to get a few more gizzard chad, but I just ain't had much luck with the big ones here lately. I've been getting some thread fin shad, just really small thread fins, but you know, we're into fall here now. It's October, I think it's October 20th today when I'm filming this. So I'd like to have some bigger baits out here. There's that gizzard chad head. We'll drop it down and then this next bait here, the bluegill, I'm gonna put, I basically cut it in half and I'm gonna have both sections on the hook. So I'll put both pieces on there. This is one of the smaller bluegill I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and put both pieces on there. But I did get some pretty decent bluegill that seven inch range as well so we'll go to those next we'll go ahead and use this small one here I'll just put both pieces on though all right there it is both pieces of that bluegill on the hook line untwisted and we'll drop it straight down and I've got that on Carolina rig and again I'm just gonna have it directly under the kayak two to three feet off the bottom and we'll wait on some fish to move into this creek and hopefully move up onto this little point here all right y'all baits are down we're fishing there's a fish fish on man that's gonna pull now ain't you? Look at that. We've been sitting here 30 minutes or so probably. Not even a tap at the bait yet. And this one just took off. This one hit that uh, gizzard shad body section. <laughs> it's nice to be hooked up, y'all. I love doing this. It never gets old to me. Ain't a bad fish right there now. That ain't a bad one. Good way to start the day right there. All right, bring him on in. Well, what do you think, y'all? Not bad, huh? That's a pretty good way to get the day started. <laughs> Pretty good way to get it started. That one ate the gizzard shad body section. So uh, that gizzard shad I had, I only had one, but I've got another section of it there. I'm gonna get three baits out of it. So I'm gonna put another piece of it on there. All right, let's let him go. See ya. There you go. All right, guys, there's that little section of gizzard shad. That's all the all the shad I got, so down it goes. All these other shad pieces here gets 
go on after the next fish, we'll switch to a different type of bait. There we go. There we go, man. Man, we're man. That's pulling, ain't it? I hope he didn't go back there to my anchor rope. I think I'm okay. That and thumped it. I've been sitting here to candy crushing. It has been just slow. I mean, no dink taps, no nothing. But, yeah, you know, a place like this, you just got to put some time into it. Fish may not be here, but they'll move up in here. I was hoping the cloud cover today. And the weather that we've had lately, that some fish will move out of this main channel up into this creek. So, got two of them that's moved up anyway. That's another one there, it's not too bad. Another one. On that gizzard shad body section right there. I'm gonna bring that one in. I may get lucky here, y'all. may get my bait back. I see it there. I did get my bait back. I don't know if I want to use it again or not. It's been down there a while. I'll take a look at it here in a minute. Meanwhile, we got that one right there. <laughs> this one's been caught before his eyes. He's blind in the right eye. Over here, but... All right, worth the wait. <laughs> Let's let him go. Get on out of here. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna reuse this bait here. It's still pretty pink on there, so we'll drop it back down there. It'll either catch a fish or it won't. <laughs> Gives her Chad head. It's two pretty close together there, so maybe we're finally getting some fish moving up in this area. Been on the water about two hours now, so two hours and only three fish. Been a slow day. It's the smallest one of the day so far, but we'll take it. It's action. All right, guys, a little dink blue. That one threw the gizzard shad head off, so I've still got a bluegill on that front rod. We got that used piece of gizzard shad body section on this back one over here, so I think I'll put a piece of bass on this rod here. All right, y'all, we're gonna put a largemouth bass head on that one. That'll piss some people off. <laughs> people always get so mad about them bass. Here in Tennessee, I know every state's different, but here in Tennessee, if we catch them on rod and reel, and they're of legal size, which I hear where I'm at today is 15 inches, then they have legal bait. And I will use them. I had fun catching it on my ultralight and two-pound test line, but I hope to have even more fun using it as bait on my catfish rod. <laughs> but the haters hate. On. That one's on that used gizzard shad body section. I put it back down there because you know, it was still bleeding a little bit, still pink on there. And I'd rather have gizzard shad, even a used piece, than bluegill. I ain't been able to go out and get any skipjack lately or even any white bass so like i said earlier it's just a make do with what we got just a smorgasbord type day we'll catch some fish on it though well there we go another dink size blue that one threw off the gizzard shad that body section i had on there so we done with the shad for the day 
and let that go. I think I'm gonna put one of those channel cats on because I got the bluegill. I just changed out that bluegill on that front rod a little while ago, put some fresh pieces on there. We got the largemouth head on that one. So I think I'll put one of the small channel cats on that bait right there, on that rod. Got one, got one on right here, y'all. This one's on the bluegill. I think he's on there. Yeah, he's on there. Well, I thought I was gonna bait that other hook. <laughs> this one took off on the bluegill before I could do it. I think this one's very big. Well, there's another one there. There's one fun size one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, there's that one. That one ate that bluegill before I could get my other bait back down there. So hopefully we're getting some active fish moving up in here. It's getting a little later in the evening now, so bite was slow there when I first got out here, but it seems to be picking up a little bit now, so. We'll get a piece of bluegill on this front rod and we'll put a piece of channel cat here on the back. All right, y'all, there's a body section of that channel cat. You know, channel cat ain't a preferred bait of mine by any stretch of imagination, but I get tired of catching them things, especially if I'm catfishing, they steal my bait. When I'm ultralight fishing, they tear at my jigs. So when I get real annoyed with them. Or on a day when I'm short on bait, I make them bait. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, unfortunately, the last hour and a half or so has just kind of been a dud. I've had some dink taps here and there, but no solid hookups. So I've got to call it a night. I've got some dinner plans tonight, so I got to get out of here. But I had a good day overall. I did some ultralight fishing first thing today. Then got out here and caught a few catfish, so I can't complain, man. This fall weather, it's perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. Catching some fish, it's a good day. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.